It's probably a good time to, to mention another story. I was working on a uh, clearing off some land where I was going to put my clinic, and there was uh, and Wimberley have a lot of trouble with cedar trees. They just grow thick, 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 and you can't move, and they choke out a lot of the oaks. And I had a big, beautiful oak tree that was being killed, and by the cedar trees. And so I was trimming them out, and I just put a big a new chain on my chainsaw. It was cold. I had a hood on. And I had been taking a large amount of omega-3s for about two months. It was just kind of an experiment to see what was going on. It was a good quality omega-3. And I cut this limb off, dead limb off this oak tree. And when it fell, it fell out against the cedars and it came back, went boom, and hit the side of this tree. And I didn't see it because I had the hood on, but this other big limb fell and broke. And it hit my chainsaw. My chain went, went straight into my leg. And I looked down and I had a hole about this big. And I thought, well, I'm still standing. That's good. And then I thought, <laughs> but, I, but I looked and I could see it just went just to the muscle. It didn't go into the muscle, but it was about, about that wide, about, about that wide. And uh, I thought, well, okay, how does that, I've sewn up a lot of guys with chainsaws living in Wimberley. You do that as a doctor. I thought, so that's what it feels like. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if, <laughs> it's it's kind of like a, a dog bite uh, without the bruise, I thought. So I had, my dogs were out running around. I had a couple of big white bulldog, American bulldogs. I yelled at them, and they were back at the truck by the time I got there. And I went to the office, and I kept looking at my white sock with my tennis shoe here and see if I was bleeding. I need to put a tourniquet on this or what. I'm just driving. So it was about, um, about a half a mile, three quarters of a mile away, and I drove into my clinic, and I went in, and, and this was on a Saturday. And I, I got all set up to sew this up, and I cut my jeans off, and I looked down, and I had a clot in here that filled the whole tray that was created by the uh, chainsaw. And I, the clot stood up about that high uh, off of my leg. And the only bleeding that left there was a pinkish clear rivulet went halfway to the knee and stopped. And I thought, oh, so that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, you know, they were always taught that omega-3s promote bleeding but not in a practical situation, because I was taking huge amounts. I was probably taking 12 capsules a day for about two months. Pardon? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I sewed it up. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But that's the pathway right there. That's, that's the paleo yellow brick road right there, the pathway to health. And to look at your own chemistry and to stay with that as best you can. I, I practice what I call orthomolecular medicine. And it's using the body's own chemistry. 